Hi guys, welcome back to the Auto Hotkey Tutorials for Beginners. Um, today we're going to continue with the loop command. We have been seeing the subcommands that this thing has. And um, today I'm going to present how we can loop through the files in a folder. Now before we continue, I want to give you some information. The plan is that we're going to continue seeing the loops because there are different types of loops. We are still on the loop command, but we have the while loop and the for loop. Those are the next two videos. Now, um, before the for loop, uh, we are going to talk about objects, those auto hotkey things that came with the new auto hotkey L, um, because the for loop is looping through objects. So do not worry about it. We're going to be talking about it soon. Now, um, for today, we're just going to continue with the loop command that we have been seeing uh, since the last two or three videos. So, um, <clears throat> why would you like to loop through the files in a folder? Well, basically, you can use this for performing actions in a group of files, like, for example, copying, copying them all, deleting them all, or, I don't know, moving them to another place, whatever you want to do, renaming them. So basically, um, we have a way to do that by doing loop. You put a path, like for example C, that is the, 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 the C drive in our computer, and then you can specify a file name. Well, basically, if you put a specific file name like text.txt, it won't, it won't be a loop. <laughs> you will be just grabbing one specific file. So what you're going to be putting in here is not a file name, but a file pattern. And what that means is that you are going to be using wildcards. If you have used the command line before, you will be familiarized with this, but you can say something like asterisk.txt. What that means is that it is going to grab any file, it doesn't matter what name it has, but if it, it has the, the extension .txt, it is going to be um, worked by the script. Let me put it that way. Now, you can change that to anything you want, like JPG or X uh, will grab all the executable files and so on. Um, or you can do something like asterisk dot asterisk, which does exactly what you think. It will grab all files. Now, um, a few notes that I want to talk about it uh, from now so that you don't get confused. In here, I am not so sure why it, that is, but Auto Hotkey has a special problem if you do not put a backslash there. You can put a normal forward slash, okay? And that is not a problem. But as soon as we see the next parameters, like recursing into folders, we're going to see that later, that would cause a problem. So I suggest you from now, if you're putting a slash, put it as a backslash. If you're putting, like, for example, documents and settings, I don't know if you're in um, XP, you will have to put a backslashes instead of the normal forward ones. It is just the way Windows, that is the default way Windows shows paths. If you open a folder, that's how you will see the paths on the top. So uh, as soon as you enter, you will see that all the, f the slashes are back slashes. And even though you can put forward slashes here in our hotkey, it might cause you a problem with some of the parameters that we're going to be setting later on. So from now on, just get used to that, okay? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you what we can do with this guy. First of all, we're going to loop through all the files that are, in, uh, that are in C, which is our C drive, and we're going to show a message box for each of them. Now, um, this is a loop. You have access to A index, break, continue, you know, all the guys that we have seen up to now, but this is a special loop which has some variables assigned, that, that, that create some variables for us, which contain some additional information. All of those variables start with the following prefix, a loop file. And that is exactly what I have in here, so you can see it more clearly. All of them start with that particular prefix, but then at the end, they have a specific name, which tells you more or less what they do. If you have name, it will show you the name of the file. Um, quick note about that, it gives you the name plus the extension. So it will be something like, let me show you that. It will give you the whole name. So those are files that aren't located in the C drive at the moment. And it says autoexec.bat, something txt, something ini, 
something says and so on so as you can see these are just simply files and it is showing me the whole name including the extension if I just want to see the extension for any reason I don't know uh, there are some situations in which you want to know if there's any executable file in the folder then you're gonna loop through all the files and check if there's an exa extension round and then you want to perform something because of that well you can see the extensions alone so that is something that um, you can take a look at it like that or you can get the directory in our case that wouldn't that would not help us that much because we know that the directory is C but there are some situations in which you will want to see the, f the directory, the, the location of the file. I'm going to show you later on. Now, then we have two more, full path and long path. They do probably almost the same thing. There's a small difference there. I'm going to show you as well when we enter into recursing and so on. And then the last six are very, you know, self-explanatory. Time modified, time created, time accessed. Those are just information regarding the file and um, size, size in kilobytes, size in megabytes, of course, the size of the current file that you're working with. Okay, so it's, it is a loop. So you're going to be seeing several files or one file, depending how many match your string in here, your pattern. But um, those six guys.